Morning everyone, it's Carrie here from Peak District Yarns uh, for the third and final part of the solar dyeing demonstration I've been doing over the Buxton wool gathering weekend. Um, in the first two parts we saw the process of solar dyeing, how to prepare the yarn and how the skeins looked when they came out of the dye pots. Um, in this part I'm going to show you the results. So the skeins have been rinsed, they've been um, dried and time for the big reveal. If I can just bring them into shot, there they are, aren't they gorgeous? So the one, um, the, the paler one is the double knit 100% merino, uh, which as you can see is looking um, very pale in terms of how it's dried, lots of white space. Um, I'll open them up in a bit so you can see. The other one, is uh, rather beautiful. This was the Merino sock yarn. And as you can see, it's um, come out as uh, mostly green with some paler yellow shades and also some uh, grayer shades towards the bottom. So let me see if I can open them up for you. Here's the first. And as I mentioned on the previous um, video, it's, it's very random how they come up. So you have no real control of, over how the dyes um, set or, or where they are placed on the skein. So you can see that's mostly white on that side, but on that side of the skein there's quite a lot of blue and pink speckling. And then the second skein, I can just do it here. Apologies, I'm without my usual cameraman, so I'm trying to do it myself today. Um, and I haven't got enough hands. Okay, so here's the second one. So again, as you can see, it's mostly green some lovely mottled sections down there where the yellow and green and grey have uh, merged together. Um, so yeah, so I hope you like those. Um, as I say, it's great fun to do at home. You could just need some basic equipment and some easy fix dyes. Um, and uh, I'd love to see what you make with them. So do post your pictures up in my Facebook group. Uh, just search for Peak District Yarns in the Dye Studio. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.